With the recent re-release of the Major Laser skin, it got me thinking which music artist skins are superior to one another and which ones are more inferior. Now, I'm not saying they're bad, and I'm not saying one is better than the rest. They're all very high quality, and in this video, I will be ranking each of the music artist skins that we got here in Fortnite in order of chronological appearance of when they first came out here in Fortnite. Now, in this list, I will include the Party Trooper skin because there, he has an edit style called J Balvin. I'm gonna include him in the list. I know it's just the skin at the end of the day and he's probably gonna be the worst because it's just the skin, no back bling or anything like that. But I still wanna put it here on the list as an honorable mention, if you will because I feel as though he deserves a spot on this uh, video. So with all that out of the way, I'm gonna get right into the video. So first up, we have the Marshmallow skin, who first released on the 1st of February, 2019, and was last out July 28th, 2019. And a couple days beforehand, no one knew if it was gonna be an actual skin or not. Leakers said that it was just gonna be an NPC that will be on the stage. Now there was an NPC of Marshmallow there, but little did we know it was actually also a skin. Now when it first came out, as I said, on February 1st, 2019, everybody lost it. It was insane. It was a very historical moment for Fortnite as that was the first time we got a collab skin. It still holds up very well to this day because it has this unique feature to it where if there's music around the skin, it lights up, uh, and it's very interesting. Now, it does different light-up patterns uh, every time you get close to music, and it's very interesting. It goes like a whole rainbow effect. It gives me Rainbow Road vibes from Mario. He also had the Mellow Rider as his glider, which was uncommon. It was 500 B-Bucks. Uh, he also had two emotes. One was called Marsh Walk, which was sold for 500 V-Bucks. And then there was Keep It Mellow, which was free, along with the Marshy Smasher Pickaxe, which was also free. Everyone got it for free if you'd done free challenges, along with a free spray and a free banner. And then later, after the whole concert finished, people started to receive the Marshmallow loading screen. Now, at first, I couldn't remember why it was given out, but it was, it turns out it's actually given out to people who are running Marshmallow or mobile devices. And at the time it had a ton of like visual bugs. So as an apology, they gave out this free loading screen to everyone, not necessarily just those who played on mobile, but just everyone who owned Marshmallow, which was pretty cool. In the files, there is a Marshmallow bundle and I don't know why they don't just put the loading screen in there. I get it, it's like, it was as an apology at the time, but more recently in bundles, we've gotten loading screens in bundles. Now recently also, uh, the marshmallow tabs were removed from the item shop, which I'm thinking now, they're probably gonna update the marshmallow bundle to include them marshmallow loading screen so it's more fair to everyone who who buys the bundle is like they get it as an added bonus later in season 9 when the world cup was happening marshmallow re-released and he had a, a new set of pickaxes called the mellow mallets now these were just based off of the marshy smasher pickaxe but in the form of dualies and the dualies versions were in a nice jet black sort of color and it also had like this um, color changing effect the marshy smasher had also i forgot to mention that both the marshy smasher and the mellow mallets when it makes impact with objects or players it plays the tune of uh marsh walk which is such a cool feature i wish more pickaxes had that because those are the only pickaxes that i can recall that have that sort of effect where they play an emote. It's just very cool. I wish they would do that more, but I don't want them to overdo it. With all that out of the way, let's get into the next entry. Okay, coming up next is the Major Laser skin. 
The Major Laser skin was first released on August 23rd, 2019, uh, which was during the time of Season X, and it is currently in the shop today as of the 25th of April, 2021. He has this bundle that includes the skin, his back bling, which is called Laser Wings, his pickaxe, which is called Laser Axe, his emote, which is built in, called Laser Flex. He also has this other emote called Laser Blast, which you can use on other skins, which interestingly enough, I don't know why, but it has a unique emote background to it. Now, Marshwalk also had this, but when you're previewing the Marshwalk emote in the locker, it doesn't have it. It's only there when it's in the item shop. I think this is just a visual bug. I'm, I'm sure they're going to get around to fixing that. He has two music packs, one called Default Vibe and the other one called Default Fire. I personally enjoy Default Vibe just a bit more, and I, it's just more chill that way, but Default Fire is also great. I like, I'd prefer the default vibe just a tiny bit over default fire, in my opinion. You could also get all of the aforementioned things I mentioned separately. So, the major laser skin, which comes with the laser wings backlink, and also his built-in emote laser flex, that's 1500. Laser axe, which you could get separately for 800. There's laser blast, which you can get separately for 500. And then Default Vibe and Default Fire go for 200 D-Bucks each. I like the Major Laser skin, but unfortunately, the Fortnite community, as it currently stands, uh, would much rather prefer either Marshmallow or Travis Scott to come back. Which brings me on to my next entry. We have the Travis Scott skin along with the Astrojack skin. These came out on April 23rd, 2020 and were last seen on April 27th, 2020. Now, there were two bundles with this collaboration. The first bundle was the skins bundle, and then the second bundle was the accessories bundle. Uh, in the skins bundle, you got the Travis Scott skin with the back bling Cactus Jack, uh, and you also got the Astro Jack skin with the back bling Astral World. And in the accessories bundle, you got the Headbanger emote, no, not that headbanger, the other headbanger emote. The Diamond Jack pickaxe and the Goosebumps wrap. There is also the Rage emote and the Astroworld Cyclone glider, which you could have gotten for free. Uh, the Rage emote was gotten after you do the Travis Scott challenges. And there was also the Astroworld Cyclone, which you got just simply for logging in. And it was, it's, it's a very cool glider, it's just does like a loop the loop when you deploy it and you surf on it it's very nice the travis scott set also includes three loading screens the first one here is called astro wild and it looks like this the second loading screen is called cosmic revolution and it looks like this it has the astro jack skin surfing on a record disc and then the last loading screen here is called Astro Thunder, which has Travis Scott in the middle along with the two Astro Jack edit styles uh, on each side. It's, it's just really nice. It has like a roller coaster going through it all and some goop coming up the way. All in all, they're all really good loading screens. All three of them, they're great. They're very good quality and I run them from time to time. They're just really beautiful. The artists behind them are really talented and they should get all the, uh, the credit they deserve. It's just amazing how they pulled it off. So props to them. And as mentioned at the start of the video, I want to honorably mention the Party Trooper skin as it was made for the J Balvin concert that was for Halloween last year. And I just wanted to include it on this list because it was a very big part of the concert. It was a big part of the advertisement behind the Fortnite mirrors, and it was in every single item shop in the Fortnite mirrors event. So I just wanted to include it here. Uh, you didn't have to attend the concert to get it, like it said you needed to, but rather, like the last day it was out, any person who just bought the party trooper outfit would get the edit style. 
So you didn't even need to watch the concert, you just need to log in and have the Party Trooper skin already on your account. The edit style itself is really cool. It's got like rainbow on it. It's just overall really nice and I wanted to include it here on the, the video because it's technically speaking uh, a music artist skin. So with all that out of the way, that leaves us one question. Which out of all of the skins and bundles I mentioned is the most worth it? It's very difficult to decide, but I'm definitely gonna have to say Travis Scott because Travis Scott has two skins. Both of them have two edit styles. One has three edit styles for the back blend. Also a pickaxe, two emotes, a wrap, and a, f a glider, which was also free. So, oh, and not to mention there was also three loading screens. Travis Scott was literally stacked. He he had so much going on with him, so I would have to say that Travis Scott wins by a landslide just because of how much things he has in his set. It's very ridiculous. I, th I think it's around about 13 items in his uh, set. I'm, I'm so blown away by this. Uh, and yeah, but that's not to say that the other the other skins are bad or anything. They're really great as well. It's just that Travis Scott has the most going on in terms of uh, his cosmetics. So I'm going to have to declare Travis Scott the winner here. You can type in your own uh, personal winner in the chat below. I'd love to hear it. And I'd also like to know why it's your favorite as well. It's just out of curiosity because as, as I just told you, I gave you my reason as to why I liked Travis Scott and how I thought he was the most worth it. Thank you for watching my video today and I hope you all enjoyed it.